you can you hear once again best killer two player you've ever fucking seen best warrior player you've ever fucking seen and the best pvp analyst you've ever fucking seen once again playing this dog shit fucking game as the best fucking warrior build this game has ever fucking seen you guys this is in fact the best warrior build nobody fucking needs a berserker berserker is in fact for facts so we are, we are not running at you guys and today today is another important day you guys because michael bryan has descended from mount olympus to give us an update on guild wars 2 you guys and what is in fact coming up next next patches and so it's so great you guys i looked over all the fucking patch notes all right i fucked them look all over and i saw not one fucking change not one fucking minimum meaningful fucking change for its pvp you guys and sure later on he said some bullshit about the fucking leaderboard that nobody cares about and nobody gives a flying fuck about except for approximately 10 fucking retards. Uh, but that's okay, you guys, because uh, there are, in fact, not going to be any fucking balance changes. So that's perfectly fine, you guys. That is, in fact, perfectly fine. So PvP players can continue to enjoy the rich diversity in Guild Wars 2's fucking amazing PvP. And I have no idea what the fuck happened there. Fucking highest latency in this fucking dog shit game. So, we do get to enjoy the continued beauty of Guild Wars 2's current fucking state in PvP, you guys. So, uh, hearty thanks to Michael Bryan for that. Um, but we did, we are getting, not now, but soonish, perhaps before 2018, we will in fact be getting the Season 4 Living Story update, you guys. Living Story, so, so great, you guys. I, I can't, I for one can't wait, you guys. I can't fucking wait to get all this fucking amazing content, alright? They're fucking, after three, four fucking months, you will finally get exciting three hour content that will be artificially lengthened by hours of endless grinding for map specific currencies, you guys. So, a fucking great round of applause, a fucking great round of applause for fucking Michael Bryan, alright, doing such a great job whipping his interns into crunching out this incredible content for Guild Wars 2, you guys. I'm sure that we'll be able to survive all the fucking months of nothing till the next expansion comes out. With the next expansion that will in fact continue to nickel and dime every fucking player, alright, for some overpowered elite bullshit and about two fucking maps with some gay-ass masteries, you guys. So Guild Wars 2's future does look good you guys we are in fact making some progress this game is in fact becoming the greatest esport and the most populated mmo in all video game history you guys so so everything looks great you guys so yeah that is it for the updates regarding guild wars 2 as you can see guild wars 2 is firmly in great hands and we will soon be the most dominant mmo force in every in every category you guys like no game will be able to compare itself to guild wars 2 and it's breadth of fresh interesting content you guys so onwards to this incredible match where i have decided to take the greatest warrior build this world's ever fucking seen you guys as you can see i do have two axes because we also have uh, the trait in strength that gives you some buffs or axes you guys and since i am a pv shit lord uh that looks good that looks great okay you get ferocity for wielding access so we're just gonna wield access you guys and you get more for more access so we have all the access you can possibly ever need so that will boost our gameplay and make us incredibly powerful, you guys. So as you can see, we are in fact winning. This match is going extremely well. My teammates are doing an excellent job of dying. I decide for some inexplicable reason, you guys, it appears that I had I had a DDoS and accidentally turned on my elite skill and tried to res a shit stain motherfucker, you guys. So I am tanking everybody. And I will go in here and I will use a zoning F1 to get these motherfucking shit things off me and they appear to believe that I have vanished into thin air when I jumped down the bridge, you guys. That's just the quality of gameplay you can find in Guild Wars 2, you guys. As you can see, this game requires an enormous amount of skill. Everybody that plays this game, you know, dedicates themselves fully to the cause. They are not, in fact, PvE shitlord motherfuckers just running, farming rank 20 so they can finally go into ranked and ruin ranked matches for everybody you guys that's not what's, ha what's happening in this fucking match this mo motherfucker goes down to a fucking warrior we do try to res him because there's nothing we else we can fucking do and apparently uh we didn't res him you guys we did try our best but our best was not good enough just not fucking good enough you guys uh 
So yeah, you guys, the this build is incredibly powerful. As you can see, all the warrior physical skills are in fact overpowered. They're incredibly strong, you guys. They don't suck fucking shit, and the trait associated with them does not also suck fucking shit, you guys. That is not true. We are in fact incredibly powerful in this match, and you will see that we can actually do battle. One versus two against these shit stains, you guys. These motherfucking retards. So we are just gonna jump on this shit stain. And he will, in fact, block from his ass my F1. So that was pretty fucking cool. We are going to try and stay away from this trap for the moment. And our fucking bullshit press proc. And I do get DDoS there, and my fucking F1 just randomly goes off, you guys. I don't know what the fuck's going on. And we do put down this motherfucker. We do have some cleave in this fucking build, you guys. So, uh, downed bodies are hard for them to get up, so... That is pretty cool. That is pretty fucking good, you guys. And as you can see, Berserker is, is useless, you guys. You don't need fucking Berserker. All you need is to just smash your buttons. Okay, and, and you fucking win. You fucking win. As you can see, we do in fact have complete map control. Alright, and we have see this shit same motherfucker. My teammate, my thief, appears to have died to a necromancer. Uh, I'm not sure how he managed that miracle. Uh, we are going to smash some buttons here, and we do take down the necromancer, but my teammate helpfully rallies the necromancer always useful you know I, i'm always happy when i see random shit stained motherfuckers trying their best in fucking pvp even though they don't know what the fuck they're doing you guys it always pleases me because i know that killers 2 is still a healthy game attracting tons of new people you guys seeing so many shit stained motherfuckers you know it is at least an assurance that killers 2 is popular with the mentally challenged crowd so it's good you know those people deserve games just as much as anybody else, you guys. And I, am, I for one, am glad that ArenaNet decided to cater to these players. Because, like I said, you guys, they do deserve to have games they shouldn't be discriminated against. And too many game developers make games where you need skill and you need brains to play. And in Guild Wars 2, you don't. In Guild Wars 2, you don't. So when you see people that even though they have classes that auto-win games, right, that are impossible to kill, when you see these people go down, that is evidence that Guild Wars 2 has in fact attracted a large crowd of mentally challenged, mentally disabled people. You guys, guys that have an extra chromosome, that have some, an, a large cavalcade of diverse genetic defects that do play this game, you guys. So, I for one am glad, I for one am glad to see so much diversity. Because Guild Wars 2 really is enriched by all the diversity that this game attracts. So, I, I am glad about that, you guys. I am glad, and we... You know, we need to be proud of Guild Wars 2 for its great accomplishments, you guys. So, finally, we do have map control. And this uh, Necromancer is gonna try and fight us. Unfortunately, even though we do have the best build this world's ever fucking seen, uh, for some reason, I believe this guy must have been hacking, for some reason, uh, we our performance is not as great as we hoped, you guys, because with our Berserker, you can, in fact, just jump on a Necromancer and uh, basically rape him. We do have an ally here, and our ally provides valuable service, you know, putting this guy in the fucking dumpster. A shit stain hacking motherfucker. So, down the shithole he goes. Fuck him. And we are going to rotate because uh, we don't care about that fucking point. Fuck it. Although, we do see that that node is guarded. So, we will stay here and delay this warrior. Unfortunately, uh, once again, we have another hacking shit stain. Because this build, despite being incredibly strong, does suffer a few difficulties against warriors that do take Berserker. As you will see uh, in this fucking battle, I'm just really stalling here. Just hoping that one of my teammates decides to come here, but instead what will occur is that uh, this Necromancer will jump here. We do deal some damage, stalling here, off point a bit. They aren't capping, as you can see, they are mindlessly chasing me off point, and that's perfectly fine with me. But this warrior, unfortunately, is quite dangerous. He is, in fact, a berserker at this moment, so it will be a bit difficult to fight him. So we are just going to wait for all his faggotry to run out, and then stall here just for a little bit, because uh, there really is very little else for us to do here. But we do have a necromancer, so he goes berserker once again. You know, he just... He just stopped using it but you know it has a minuscule cooldown so it basically doesn't fucking matter so we will have unfortunately we will have to leave the point to that hacking shit sting motherfucker you guys and this is what happens you guys funcha this is what the this game you guys that's what but it's like to play this game you guys a bunch of pay to win shit sting motherfuckers you guys buying the expansion buying free fucking wins you guys just fucking dog shit
this goddamn intolerable dog shit, you guys. Just a bunch of pay-to-win shit bullshit. You know, all these motherfuckers, you guys, winning with their fucking wallets. Right, a bunch of wallet warriors. Then bragging how great they are, you guys. That's the, that's just what this game is about. Uh, so much this thing goes down immediately and i'm looking pretty fucking fucked here you guys i will try and make my escape uh because we will get thrown in the fucking dumpster i am trying to dodge this thief's fucking vault spam and we do hit him a bit but he just keeps on dodging like a pro player you guys so there is a clusterfuck in this fucking point my team has in fact zerged this note so we will uh help them zerg you guys but everyone in my team appears to have gone down but they will rally that, that shit stay motherfucker. So we will just cleave on this node. Because we are in fact the best warrior players this world ever fucking seen. We will uh, use our F1 to cleanse some bullshit and start healing. And we will kite to this rock. Where we will, and we see here, great map designed by ArenaNet. Where random non-existent walls do impede your movement. Uh, so that is pretty fucking cool guys. He does go Raper. So we will kite him, as we don't want to deal with that. We do not have, in fact, Berserker. And he appears to be very displeased that uh, he could not catch up to us, you guys. That's very unfortunate for him. Unfortunately, we were not able to take this match. And always remember, after a match, to leave uh, encouraging remarks to your teammate, congratulating them on their play.